the Nets without Durant have just caught fire. Uh, Harden with his seventh triple double, zero turnovers, thirty points and fifteen assists and uh, fourteen rebounds. My gosh, um, it, it, is this um, the team to beat when it's all said and done as we approach the All Star game this weekend, Jeff? Well, I, their talent is as good as anybody. You know, their top end talent. You know, the depth part, we'll see. Um, I'm interested to see if and what they add to their roster between now uh, and the start of the playoffs. Uh, but certainly in the Eastern Conference, they have the the most high-end talent. I still think Milwaukee's outstanding. Um, they got off to a little bit slower start, but uh, Giannis and Middleton and Holiday has been out for a long period of time with uh, COVID. the COVID protocol, protocols and all that. But I think when they get him incorporated, they're going to be a hard uh, and difficult team to beat as well. So uh, I'm interested to see what the Nets do. Um, but Harden, you know, there may be some who didn't like how he forced his way out of Houston. Um, my counter to that would be if he behaved correctly, he wouldn't have gotten – they would have never – you know, traded him. But one thing you can't deny is he is an all-time great player. And he's easily one of the four best two guards to have ever played this game. Hmm. I mean, this guy is phenomenal. And his ability at the two-guard position to morph into a point guard, uh, absolutely control uh, the flow of a game, um, can make every pass, you know, shoots it with range, gets to the free throw line at an incredibly high rate. So, yeah, he, he's he's been a great player for a long time, and he's now in that spotlight once again where he's with a great team who's getting heavily covered, and people are seeing that greatness on a nightly basis. All right, you just strolled into that uh, that sweet spot for a sports talk radio program, Jeff, where you you you, you just said what top uh, th- what three or four two guards were are assuming Jordan and Kobe are the other part of them. If it's and four- Wade, Dwayne Wade, you put there, huh? Oh yeah, I think Dwayne Wade. You know the, the, the I don't think people <laughs> really because they remember they always remember you at the end of your career, but. Dwayne Wade, like pre-LeBron coming there, when LeBron was there, and even when he took on that six-man role, I mean, it was greatness. Like, that, that guy was – and this was without the the every-night three-point shooting range that these – you know, you know, like the, that a Harden has. But one of the greatest shot-blocking two guards of all time he had those point guard skills like um, – Harden, um, incredible off the ball cutter. You know, it, I I thought his intelligence. You know, like he came in with the reputation as a non shooter, but he always shot over fifty percent because, you know, he just he knew what he did well, and he and he stuck to that. And every year he added. So yeah, hmm. those would be my top four. I may be missing somebody. Somebody might put Jerry West in there. I, I didn't I didn't see West, so that's a little young for me or old for me, but, um, yeah, those would be mine. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.